What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Hi, how are you? <laughs> I'm gonna be reviewing an eyeshadow palette uh, from a drugstore. This is the one I'm picking. I'm getting this palette over here. Alright, got the goods, you guys. I think the, the first row has a really nice color story. I think it's like the shade Trisha um, from the Conspiracy palette. You're literally kidding me. That is the most pigmented. What? For a drugstore palette, you guys. What? What? Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Aya. Welcome back to my channel. As you probably read from the title of this video, I'm gonna be reviewing an eyeshadow palette from a drugstore. Alright, you guys. Um, so. Earlier today, I went out and I went to Greenacres Mall, I went to the shop, I got the products and this is me in the future now filming this and yeah, um, if you guys are new to my channel, do not forget to subscribe, do all of that stuff, it really helps me out a lot. Um, also let me know um, on Instagram or in the comment section below what you guys um, think of this video once I've done the review and let me know if you would buy these products. Um, they're very inexpensive and I really, really recommend them. Alright you guys, now I'm going to hand you guys over to Pass Aya and he's going to carry on with the video. Thank you future Aya, I'm going to take it from here. Okay you guys, I am Krenek is more right now. Um, I mentioned in a past video, I think it was the one where I got the AirPods, but I mentioned that I went into a store for five and I just saw a bunch of palettes there so I'm just going back to the shop now and I'm gonna pick it out and then I'm gonna get home and I'm gonna, I'm gonna review it and stuff but yeah you guys um, let's head to vibes and I'm really excited to try out this new palette Alright you guys, so this is where they keep all the palettes and stuff, um, I'm really not sure which one I want to get because there's like so many, um, I like this one here, like it has some shimmers too, like literally, I'm already thinking like to Halloween already, but um, yeah, I'm just gonna like look through these really quickly and then I'm just gonna check in with you guys. Okay you guys, so I saw that they had this one over here. But, okay, it has less shades than um, the other one I'm going to show you guys now. But this one has, like, more brighter colors, which makes me want to pick it more. Okay, so this is the second one. Um, it has four shades more than the other one. Um, but, yeah, it's, like, it has a lot of the same shades. But, like, I noticed there's, like, a lot of browns and stuff. Um, I already have a palette that has, like, a lot of browns. Here they are side by side. Which one should I pick? This is the one I'm picking. And then, yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to, like, read through everything once I get home. Okay. Um, I'm getting this palette over here, but I might also get like a concealer But um, I'm just gonna look if they have like any light shades just like as a base for the eyeshadow and stuff So there's some LA girl pro concealers over here I really hoped they would have like a more like diverse shade range, but um, these are the only shades I have I'm just gonna go ahead and get get this one um, Because I think they're all like the same shade um, I also want a mascara because I've run out of that one for my brows and stuff so I really hope they have like the Huda Beauty one, but if they don't, then I'm just gonna go ahead and just find the next best thing. Okay, you guys, I picked up this new mascara. Um, I really like the applicator wand. It's very like um, thin, and there's a lot of bristles, which will get like in between the eye, um, the eye, eyebrow hairs and stuff. I really, really like that one. So um, I think it's in the it's it's Naked Nine, and it's the brand um, Ixia Beauty or something. But I'm gonna show you guys a better. Um, Thing, um, when I get home when I'm doing the review. <laughs> I just wanted to show you guys really quickly. Um, this literally looks like Jeffree Star's Magic Star um, Concealer. Um, the packaging is very similar. Um, it's from Hexia Beauty. I think it's like a dupe for um, Huda Beauty. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that these look um, like JSC. Um, there's so many cool stuff you can hear you guys. Um, there's like um, Fenty over here and there's some Kylie over there. Um, yeah, um, this is like a really nice selection. Also, this literally, 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 look at this, you guys. It, it's the same packaging as um, a JSC um, concealer, but it's a mascara. So, there's like a lot of like things they do that it's very like similar and stuff, but yeah. 
Okay guys, I also decided to pick up some new brushes from Huda Beauty because um, the ones I already have, they're either dirty or they're just like not blendable enough. Like the bristles, obviously it's like a synthetic thing, but um, these ones I think are like a nice thick consistency. Alright, got the goods you guys. Alright you guys, I'm about to leave Grenaker's Mall right now, but I didn't want to leave um, until I show you guys like the full outfit of the day. So head to toe, I'm wearing the surprise. Um, I think this shirt was, um, I'm going to put the prices up here somewhere on the screen, but this is also from Mr. Price. The shirt says I'm um, unofficial. I love, love, love um, how this outfit came together. I'm um, Also, I love the black and white striping of the shirt matched with the pants and stuff. And then the shoes I got from Mr. Price. I think they were like on sale, so I got them for a really nice price but that was my outfit of the day you guys I have the goods over here and um, I'm gonna do that review when I get home but yeah you guys um, yeah I cannot wait to review this product thank you Post I uh, I'm gonna take it from here alright you guys so I have the products sprawled out in front of me as you guys saw that was crazy literally so many packaging like that looks like Jeffree Star products and like a lot of dupes for like Huda Beauty and Fenty and Kylie and all of those um, but yeah you guys um, I think what the shop does is just like ship stuff in and then they just like um, obviously decrease the price and just like make a lot more of the products so I think that's why it's so cheap but the products are very high quality still and I would really really recommend them um, if you like a student like me and you like can't afford like like actual Fenty like shipped from America or like um, the Conspiracy palette, James Charles like Smurfy unless you're in the artist palette like this is like the next best thing um, I'm actually gonna um, do an unboxing and just um, walk you guys through what the eyeshadow um, uh, is gonna be like um, how the how the um, palettes feel and just overall like what I think um, about the product okay so this um, eyeshadow here it is you guys it's from ED professional palette um, I guess um, ED is the company or the brand um, the, um, the palette the palette has 24 shades in the pan uh, as you guys can see it's very colorful I I opted to go for a more colorful route um, route because I already have a more wearable a more neutral palette um, in in my closet um, so I just wanted to experiment with some color because um, I'm gonna be trying out some fun new eye makeup looks um, this year and I really just wanted a palette that would allow me to do all of that so um, I'm gonna go ahead and open the palette you guys um, here it is opened as you can see it's very very pigmented now I don't know if they're gonna like translate or like once you do swatches or like once you do um, looks on your eye but I'm just gonna um, walk you guys through the rows and then I'm just gonna do some swatches um, but yeah you guys are really really excited for this palette so at the back here it says that it has 31 grams of product um, which is um, 0.56 ounces and this little thing over here not sure if you guys can see um, it says um, it's good for 24 months or once you've opened it um, Jeffree Star um, got me looking into these so that you know how much um, your products life is and then it also says on here that the product um the, the this product over here is um cruelty free so it wasn't tested on animals so the turtles are saved <laughs> Um, but yeah, you guys, I really, really like um, this palette. Um, okay, so I'm going to start off with the first row over here. And I'm just going to do a little swatch. Um, okay, so I'm just going to swirl around a little bit and then just um, show you guys what it looks like on my hand. And then I'm going to do um, an arm swatch. Let's just start from the bottom. There's the first swatch, you guys. Um, yeah. I think you have to go over it like a few times uh, to get to the payoff you want. Now I'm going to take the second shade. Um, it's a more pinky shimmery shade. Um, there's, um, okay, the product feels creamy, but I'm not sure if it's just the way I'm picking it up. But this is how it comes off on to the skin. I've just taken a second um, dip into the 
into the palette. Um, the first row is just um, shimmers exclusively. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna be trying those out. And then now I'm gonna do a swatch for the third one. It's more like a corally um, red shade. And this is what the swatch looks like. Oh, did you see that? One swipe and it's so pigmented, you guys. What the hell? Okay, we have the pink one over here. Uh, it's a corally shade. Um, okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this last one over here for the first row. It's a um, caramel um, shimmer. Um, it's a more like a coppery, like a muted coppery shade. And that what it that's what it looks like on the arm. I I think the the first row has a really nice color story. And yeah, um, the, the product, um, the product, the palette is like pigmented. There's not much fallout in the pan, but obviously um, things um, swatch differently than how they apply. So th there could be a lot of fallout in the eye. Okay, you guys, um, I'm gonna go ahead and swatch the second row, which I'm gonna start with this champagne color over here. Okay, it's more like a yellow golden um, champagne color. Um, here's the swatch. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do a second a second uh, round. There you guys. You see, you just have to go over it like twice to get the payoff you want, but I really, really like um, it's very um, muted, yellow, and then I'm gonna go ahead and just swatch this. Um, okay, now all of these shades over here um, that I've swatched so far have been shimmers. Um, Going um, on um, from here on out, it's going to be um, matte. So um, I'm just going to show you guys like how they look different. Hopefully not too different. But yeah, they're very creamy. The product is very creamy. The palette is very, very creamy. Okay, so here is the orange. Okay, that was anticlimactic. But I'm just going to go over it a few times and just try and get the, the payoff to be great <laughs> um, but yeah okay I think that's the base we're gonna get it um, it's a matte you guys um, I think these are like pressed very hard into the pan so you um, aren't, aren't gonna get that much payoff um, in immediately okay now I'm gonna get this matte um, caramel shade um, it's a more um, muted caramel shade okay hold on Here's a swatch of that. You guys, this product is very, very creamy. Like, I know a lot of products out there, like, come off as, like, like chalky and stuff. Um, but, yeah, this is the matte um, coral um, shade over here. Okay, now I'm going to move on to the more um, teal, turquoise, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's a matte. And I'm just picking it up with my finger and I'm gonna swatch it right on top of this one. Oh yes, okay. Let me just go over it with a second um sweep. Okay. And there is the teal core um turquoise shade. Um okay. I think uh, an important thing I wanna um get across in this video is that um uh, these products, um, you just have to go, like this palette, you just have to go over um, a few times to get the desired payoff. But otherwise, um, I have no complaints about the, the, the quality so far. It seems very like wearable and it's gonna like, once like, if you have a good eyeshadow base, then these will like um, stick to it and just come off a lot more pigmented on the eye. Now I'm gonna move on to this yellow over here. Uh, oh yeah, I just realized that um, these shades don't have any names, um, but yeah, this is is like a honey um, honeybee yellow um, very uh, reminiscent of James Charles's shade in James Charles palette um, the the shade named B in his palette so hopefully this can be like a dupe for that um, here is how it swatches okay let me just go over it again And there's the yellow, you guys. Um, 
it's not the most pigmented yellow I've ever seen, but I think if you just um, work on this product um, a lot, um, like over and over, then you can just build it up. Um, but yeah, other than that, I love the color story so far. Um, okay, so that was the second row, you guys. Now I'm gonna run out of room in my arm, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and wipe um, away um, the, the swatches of here. Alright, you guys, now I'm gonna start off um, by swatching the third row. Um, the third row has one, two, three, four, five mattes, and this last one here is a shimmer. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and dip into this um, neon, it's not really a neon green. Um, but yeah, this is what the green looks like, and now it's already a lot more pigmented, you guys. So I really, really like this green, and I think it's a green that's like very wearable. It's like not too neon, um, but yeah, I really like the green. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do this bright red over here. Hopefully it's just as pigmented as James Charles's um, shade that you were kidding. Um, but yeah, let's find out. Oh, you're kidding. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I think it's a really nice um, shade of red. It's like a true, true red. Very pigmented. Now, um, there's another red down here that I'm very excited to try out. But for now, um, let's just continue with this row. Um, now the red um, did kind of stain my finger a little bit, um, but I think um, a proper like makeup wipe, like a Neutrogena makeup wipe, would like get it off. Um, now I'm gonna go ahead and dip into this more muted um, orangey color, and I'm just gonna swatch it on top of this red. A second dip. Yes, I like it. Okay, now I'm gonna go and do this um, bright Barbie pink over here. Again, you guys, I wanna hold the car. I wanna reiterate you guys that these products are so creamy. Um, there's like not much fallout in the pan, but obviously maybe once I go in with brushes, it's gonna be a different story, but I like, um, how the consistency has kept up so far. Okay, there's the Bobby Pink. Um, this is like the shade. I think it's like, I think it's like the shade Trisha um, from the Conspiracy Palette. Um, but it's a lot more like Bobby muted um, pastel pink. Now I'm gonna go ahead and dip into this um, navy blue shade over here. Um, it's reminiscent of the shade Cola in James Charles' X Morphe palette. It's a more, but I think Cola is like a deeper, um, I think it's a cobalt blue, I'm not sure. But yeah, um, this is the, the navy blue. Now, it's not as pigmented as I thought it was going to be. Alright, up next is going to be this gold um, shade over here. Like I mentioned before, it's a shimmer. Now, I'm just gonna swatch it over here, you guys. Um, you guys, I was filming and I ran out of storage, so I'm just gonna have to start this over again. Um, it cut off when I was doing uh, this shade over here. So now we're just gonna move on quickly and do this one. And this is what it looks like on the arm. I like um, how it, it came out. I'm not sure if it's like very reflective, but it would be very nice for like a halo eye. So you just place it right in the middle of your eye. Okay, now I'm gonna move on to this fourth row over here. This bright um, orange shade is like one of my favorites. Um, it reminds me of Cheetah Dust from the Conspiracy Palette. Maybe it's the mini controversy. Yeah, I don't know. But Cheeto Dust, it reminds me of that. That's a literal Cheeto. Literally, like, what the hell? Um, it's very, very pigmented. I like how it came out. Now I'm gonna do um, this shade over here, um, and then I'm gonna move on to this um, lavender velvet, um, velvet, um, lavender um, violet color, and then I'm gonna do this um, Trisha Paytas esque um, um, sparkly pink, and then I'm gonna come back and just do this red um, in real time. <laughs>
one of my favorites, you guys, this one. Literally, Trisha Paytas. Literally, this is her. <laughs> Alright, you guys, now I'm dipping into this um, bright red shade. I... I said before that this red over here was like James Charles's You're Kidding shade, but this one, you guys, just watch. You're literally kidding me. That is the most pigmented, what? For a drugstore palette, you guys, what? What? That is so pigmented. I really, really like it. One of my favorites, for sure. Alright, you guys, that was the fourth row. Now I'm gonna move on to this last and final row over here. Um, I'm just gonna like speed through these um, through these over here, and then I'll just um, come back with some with some final thoughts. <laughs> Um, all on their own and I think that's why they put it together and then this brown one can be like a transition shade for the like the inner um, the crease and stuff um, let me just do this um, brown over here yeah it just barely shows up on my skin you guys but that's why I think it would be a nice like transition shade but yes, that is the palette, you guys. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and um, say that this red is literally one of my favorites from the palette, you guys. Like I said, this palette, 100% um, would recommend. It's very um, um, affordable, you guys. You don't need to spend all this money trying to get um, all these expensive products. Like, just get something that works for you and you'll be just as, like... Um, cool or whatever as if you did have um, the, the expensive products, but these are the swatches you guys um, Let me know what your favorites were down in the comment section below or send me a DM on Instagram and just let me know But yeah, you guys um, that was the palette. All right, you guys that was the palette literally literally one of the best um, drugstore palettes I have ever seen um, now I did go ahead and pick up some um, extra product I got this um, LA Girl Pro Concealer. Um, literally, this was the only shade they had, and it just um, um, happens to match me. Um, I'm really, really excited to use it. Um, yeah, I think it's like a painting, you just squeeze it out. But that's, uh, this is the um, LA Girl Pro Conceal. And then I went ahead and got this um, um, mascara from. Um, Hexia Beauty, um, I think it's like a dupe for Huda Beauty, but this is what the applicator wand looks like. Um, it's very similar to the one I had from Huda Beauty before, but I like how the bristles are just like very close together. So it just helps distribute the product a lot better. And then I got these um, brushes from Huda Beauty. Um, they are a wooden... Um, they have a wooden handle. I got them because um, obviously I'm gonna be playing with this baby um, to create some editorial looks, you know um, But yeah, I'm definitely gonna start with the reds and just do like a whole look like inspired by that um, The brushes you guys are um, they have synthetic um, bristles and they have a wooden um, Frame and then they have this gold um, detailing um, over here um, Yeah, it feels really soft um, feels very like luxurious um, would be nice to get like into the crease and stuff and they also have a more um, fanned out brush for um, when you want to pack um, some product in the outer corner of your eye um, yeah literally four brushes very um, inexpensive you guys um, 100% would recommend you guys get them. Um, yeah, put a beauty, you guys. But hey, you guys, I really, really hope you enjoyed watching today's video. Um, like I said, let me know on my Instagram or down in the comment section below what you guys thought of this video. But without any further ado, you guys, I'm going to see you guys in my next video.